Hello everyone, welcome back to From the Depths. We're being blockaded by these relics of the past. Clearly they don't know that a battleship reigns supreme in the, in these days. So we're gonna probably deploy all the way over here. Instead of close there, because they have a lot of broadside cannons. We do too, but, you know. Gotta keep some sort of range. Let's see, where are they? Ideally, we'll be able to blow them to hell. Oh, uh, we'll turn on those as well. Oh, he's got one front-facing gun right now that is not doing a whole lot. More worried about the constitution, if anything. Because there we go, battleship. might have hit another chain reaction there, it's just explosions keep happening from front to rear. I mean, I'm certainly not complaining about that, but it's just a bit weird, that's all. You'd have thought that they would have used their broadside instead of trying to close. I mean, we're only at 1500 meters, right? Which is close range in my opinion. Well, it's still in medium range. But even then, when you have so many cannons, I would just... I would have broadsided. Which I'm clearly demonstrating by actually broadsiding right there. Well, this is their punishment for not broadsiding. They get hammered. I think AI died on it. Yep. Oh no, it's too damaged. Same thing, really. It's dead. Just dead. Nothing else to do. So, let's see what the Constitution is gonna do. I mean, it's a nice ship to look at, but if it's just gonna charge us again. Oh, it, it's at least got a couple more guns firing. Oh, it looks like he's going for the broadside, actually. Which is gonna be fun. Or you know, you could just stop at that angle. I mean, we've got cram shells coming in already, so unfortunately they fall short because cram cannons. <laughs> Might have to put a firing delay on the actual cram cannon so that the first shot is accurate. Because the first shot in cram cannons is usually the most powerful one. getting a lot more secondary hits though, that's probably because I'm using the AA guns now. They're allowed to do their part. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, there we go. There goes roughly the front half of the ship. Well, at least he did get closer than the uh, Pusadian did. I don't know if that's really a saving grace, but... He at least got closer. And our little flag storm is taking out his sails now, which is lovely. Multiple shell impacts on the hull. There we go. Yeah, just look at that. He's just disappearing. He's just chewing everything up here. Here comes the next self. It's a miracle that with all that damage he's still sailing. Just saying, realistic ship wouldn't, but then again, it's not meant to be realistic, thankfully. Game is stuttering a bit, and she's too damaged. That's it, she's dead. Well, well played. You tried, you died. It's no real coincidence. You are, after all, a relic of the past. And you will remain that way. Until we scavenge you for parts, that is, then we can use you for new exciting things. Having a bit of lag right now, but I can assure you that's just the game. The recording's still running at 60 FPS. It's just 
the woes of bringing in a big battleship. Which keeps growing, it's now 48,500 blocks. A bit much, but you know. Still fun. Yeah. You tried, Constitution. You tried. And now we watch him go down. I mean, I'm not sure why the AI is still firing. He's already been too damaged for like half a minute now. I'll quickly turn these off for a minute. We can take another look at the battleship itself. Because I never quite get enough of that. Oh. Right, well, as soon as he's despawned, we have a new fight to attend to. Yep, he's done. Thank God. Turn the AI back on. We've got more incoming. We've got a fleet over here, and then we've got a fleet over there. I might actually do these off camera since I have been showing a lot of battles with the battleship. I'm sure you guys don't mind, but... I don't know. It just feels to me like I'm doing too much of the same. It's still fun, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know, maybe I should build a new ship at some point and have some more variety in there. Anyway, I'll be right back then. Alright, so here's the basic rundown. We've got the battleship over here, he's gonna guard our flanks against that upcoming fleet. We've got the Higgins boat here, he's gonna... We're gonna storm the furnace here. Thought about doing it off camera, but eh. I've been doing off camera stuff for a while now. Smash some of the fleets around here. And I'm starting to sort of slowly run out of time for recording today. And I still have to do the uh, the tutorial for today that I'd like to uh, get out there, you know. To help people who might need one. It's going to be on engines today. Because I feel like having a good knowledge about engines established early on is going to be beneficial for the later tutorials. Especially lasers. So that's gonna be a thing. And I've also gotta prepare the stream tonight, 9 p.m. GMT over at twitch.tv slash derp digital. That's gonna be a lot of fun as well. I might work on another supply ship on camera. I'm not sure yet. I'm willing to take suggestions for what to build next, etc. Because I've I've done work on a battle cruiser, I've done work on uh, my battleship, refurbishing the uh, the then outdated secondary guns, which I wanted to take a good look at. And you can clearly see that they have been improved a lot in the meanwhile, so that's good. But there are still things we can do, like build supply ships, build pretty things, you know? That sort of thing. Oh dear, we appear to have lost our engine. There goes the ship itself. We'll have to go on foot from here, because the boat's not going to carry us much further, I'm afraid. Let's try and not fly directly into cram shells. That is bad for my health. There goes the boat, unfortunately. I sort of needed that. Can we maybe take the barrel out with the grenade? Hope so. One more. Oh dear, poor boat. Um, right, I know where the AI is in here. That that does help. Just get a quick little. Oh, the minigun looks different. I know it's just a lighting, but I don't know. It seemed like it was golden for a second, and that was pretty cool. However, the AI is simply located in there. So there you go. If you ever want to get your own furnace, that is the way to do it. It really is quite simple. We have perfected boarding into an art form now. Now let's get that little boat repaired, shall we? Also, tell it to keep maximum fuel. We'll tell the furnace to be part of group number one there. 
Now you, sir, should be gathering resources from that resource zone. I think he is, but then again, I'm not exactly sure. We'll park the battleship close by so we have some supplies. A lot of them, actually. Because I don't think the furnace has any resource storage capabilities. And after that, we, of course, have to convert it into a fuel outpost. Like we were going to. That fleet has now withdrawn because he seized the uh, futile efforts. Being not worth it, and I don't blame him. Alright, let's see here. Raw resources, miscellaneous, large. Is there a... Oh, that looks good enough. We'll put one over here. We'll put one over here. Now we have resource capability on here. Oh, we, st we apparently do have the resource capabilities here, but... Some... God damn it, stupid. Mouse, uh, middle mouse button. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure where the resource collectors are on this. Oh, they're down there. Well, then that explains it. God. Not, not again. I'm just scrolling in. It's not placing resources when I'm just scrolling in already. I don't think you were there, were you? No. Oh dear! Um, quick, play some... Learn? Oh, we don't have the resources for it, god damn it. Uh, in that case... Quick panic here, as we nearly... Oh, oh god, why didn't that give anything? Should have given stuff. Come on. Set the no wait, we'll get the rampart. There we go. Pull everything out of play. Stop panicking for a second. We'll get the rampart to join us. We'll scrap it because that was the plan for it anyway. And then we can use its oil to produce more. Oh wait. Just give the f just give the furnace some fuel. There we go. That's better. Just calm down. Think logically for a minute. And now we should be able to place fuel storage tanks soon enough. Let's leave build mode, activate supply group mode, and then just be like, stop it. Yeah, there we go. Good. And then we replace the one that we removed. There we go. We've got some crap smelters here. I guess that's okay. Where's the resource gatherers again? They're right here. Oh, okay, they're working. I thought they were below water. Uh, just checking. They're not working very quickly, are they? There, much better. I think. Yeah, they should all be working now, so we're gonna get some materials faster, which is good. Shame to not place them here too, right? There we go. Now we've got some resources coming in here. There we go. We now have some extra oil coming in as well. Because oil is going to be very useful here. Guarantee you that. 
Let's see, is there any place we can really afford to put them? I mean, we can just put one on here. There we go. Let the oil flow. That way we'll be able to use more fuel refineries. Also, we don't need a hearthstone here. This isn't a collectible trading card game. Uh, let's see. Where's the fuel refinery in here? I know there is one. Or at least there should be one. I mean, admittedly, they can have excluded one, which would be a bit weird. Let's see, can we place one down here? Because I don't think they have one, and right now we are leaching fuel from the battleship. Which is not exactly what this was meant for. Underwater, okay, that's bad. There we go, refinery efficiency 10. That wouldn't work. So instead, let's in mirror mode. This is totally legitimate, guys, don't worry about a thing. And they are connected. Which is beautiful. We can't really squeeze one in there. That's okay. We'll put it in here. Refinery efficiency 11. Put a cracker in there. That takes it up to 16 and a half. There we go. We now have a fuel refinery in here. That's gonna help. I mean, it's not gonna work super quickly, but... That's actually a good point. I mean, do you have one of these flare stacks? I hope so. That would be great. Don't think he has. Uh, unfortunately not. However, we are getting 12,000 fuel per minute, which is a lot. Well, I'm excited that we're going to have to replace him, of course, otherwise we're not going to get to our actual goal here. 500 to 5,500. I'm going to keep an eye on that. 200 to 3,300. So we are very efficient here, which is good. But it also takes quite a lot of time. That's bad. Eh, I think that's fine for now. It's tucked away, so we don't really notice anything different here, but... Still, it's good. Of course, I'd like you to keep all fuel. And just keep everything. Battleship. Uh, I might do a little bit of maintenance on you off-camera, actually. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. I mean, right now we are in a pretty peaceful state. We have taken over roughly a quarter of their territory. I mean, we can check here. 75% territory, and we took over one of their three resource gathering zones. So it leaves one over here, which is also not their fortress where they're producing forces from. So they're all coming from somewhere up here, interestingly enough. And the whole Onyx Watch corridor is... Oh, pretty much that, a four wide corridor. Move the radar balloon up a bit more. We're about to lose coverage in here. Might place some radars on the land here at some point, I don't know. Got another furnace over here, that's not really doing anything because it doesn't have fuel. Let's take a look at that resource zone here real quick. I think it might just be a natural zone at this point. Yeah, natural and crystal. So that's not going to be very useful, but we'll keep the outpost there nonetheless. Then we've got this furnace that's just building up everything, which is lovely. And we can send these wings here, they still need some repairs. We can send them over there. And then they're going to get their repairs, which is lovely. You should slowly be filling up with fuel again. Well, I say slowly, but... bit faster than that. Let's pull you out of play real quick. We'll get the rampart up. 
which doesn't have any resource capabilities. I mean, we've got the wings incoming now, which is good. We'll send them across, actually, to get the stuff. Doing a bit of campaign maintenance is never a bad thing, you know? I mean, I tend to show a lot of battles, so... Some... Quote-unquote, behind-the-scenes maintenance. I think that it has its place. It certainly has. In my opinion, at least. Feel free to disagree. Or agree, of course. There we go. Repairs for everyone. And we'll actually repair the Higgins boat while we're at it. Because we might storm this outpost soon, the Avalanche outpost. So we'll have to do that at some point. Uh, yeah, I think I might end the episode here, do some off-camera off maintenance, start recording the second engine tutorial, which will be coming up at 9pm GMT in the second video slot. And when it goes live, I will be streaming over at twitch.tv slash derpdigital. We're probably going to be working on another supply vessel because I like to build beautiful things. Come hang out if, you, if that's your jam. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. And until next time, have a good one, folks.